Bowser Arcade. Get the humanoid. It's interesting how many games were playing around with speech synthesis in the first few years of the 80s. Intruder, the intruder must not escape. There were voice modules for the Intellivision and the Odyssey 2. Uh, various video games began introducing speech. Intruder alert, intruder alert, the intruder must not escape. It was just a, a really popular Before commodity. You. And Berserk had its own creepy robotic speech synthesis, which I think went a long way to making it memorable to this day. Get the humanoid. Crazy Petit in pocket. Intruder alert, intruder alert. The gameplay is pretty straightforward and easy to pick up, but Get provides enough humanoid. challenge in just a few levels. The robots are dumb, so you can trick them into shooting each other or even intruder, running into the walls. Intruder. Each board has the option of quickly running away, or if you shoot all the robots, you get extra bonus. The one big caveat is if you linger too long on any screen, Crazy Otto makes his appearance. He's a creepy emoticon that smiles as he comes at you to stomp out your life. <laughs> if you see Crazy Otto, it's best to listen to Gandalf and fly, fool. The simple gameplay and graphics lent easily to home console and computer ports. The Berserk style gameplay also got copied into all sorts of titles on different systems. But the arcade classic was the best. It had this slightly creepy vibe with the great voice and great sound effects, something you couldn't just find on any home system at the time. A definite coin-op video game great.